and in business. The difference between companies that grow and those that don't is in their customer retention. The more customers that you can keep and continue to sell to, the more likely you are to achieve your business goals. To speak on this, we have Sami Gbadegesi, founder Michael, join us on the news. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, hi. It's nice to be here. My pleasure. Pleasure is ours. We understand that companies and entrepreneurs are faced with the impact of COVID-19 on their business. How can they retain old customers mm -hmm. and maybe target new ones? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think the, the first thing I want to say is that um, the businesses that are really enjoying the relationships um, they have um, they have with their customers started to invest in those relationships many years ago. And um, for those who are playing catch up, you find that they are the ones that are probably facing those challenges with really leveraging on the power of the relationships they've built with their customers. Now, talking about um, the benefits of um, building customer relationships and giving your customers the best. When you give your customers the best, there are three um, benefits that you would normally get. Um, the first one is outstanding reviews. Um, they will say great things about you, um, about your business, about your brand. The second benefit is referrals. Um, we already know that referral marketing um, is one of the most um, 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 powerful, powerful ways of, um, of marketing these days. And the third benefit um, as well is customer loyalty, where your customer continues to buy and buy and buy again from you. So talking about the um, 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 going to your question of how businesses can retain old and um, existing customers and target new ones. The first one is communication, particularly this period. I mean, COVID came, um, it surprised everyone. Everyone's thinking about how to navigate it. And this is the time to think about how um, to apply empathy in your relationship with your customers. Are you preaching hope? Are you preaching, um, um, are you um, speaking in the language of, of reassurance? Are you telling them tomorrow is gonna be a better day? Or are you flooding their email inboxes with buy from me, buy from me, buy from me. So communication is really important. The second one is value adding. This is the time to really think about what value can I give to my customer outside what they are paying for? How can you surprise your customer? I'll give you an example. I was talking to an event host the other day. He's a compare. And he had concluded that there was nothing he could do because of COVID. And we had a conversation. And one of the things that I, could, I told him was, how about you think of ways um, that families can play games and build relationships together during this period? And these are creative ways you can add value to your customer despite um, um, the COVID situation. Just to interject, is so important something well. you said earlier about some businesses that might be Go struggling ahead. for those that, you know, the relationship that they have, they were able to establish over time. Mm -hmm. For those businesses that are struggling now, yeah. would a consideration or a major sort of be an option to be explored for businesses that are struggling? Absolutely. So I was coming, I was coming to that. One of the... Um, great things that you can do this period is collaboration. For example, I deliver service A, another company delivers service B. How can we come together, collaborate to deliver a joint service? It makes a lot of difference, particularly as that gives you a stronger value proposition you can give to your customers. So to answer your question, the answer is yes. Um, this period, a lot of businesses are affected, a lot of businesses are impacted, and it's the time to really work together and um, collaborate with other businesses that could deliver a joint service to customers. Hope that um, yes, um, sheds that, some light on enough. that. Uh, just quickly, what role would technology play in the advancement of uh, small businesses moving forward, especially in the light of the revolution we've seen um, with COVID-19 lockdown? Yeah, very good question. I mean, it's so clear that um, everyone's online right now. We've got billions of, of, of users on the internet, on their mobile phones. So it's really important to understand that technology has a great um, 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 place to, um, to play um, in this period. You have to think about the social experience. You've got to think about the mobile experience. You've got to think about how you can get to your audience, how you can get to your market on the online space. The other important thing is data as well. This is not the time to make decisions out of assumptions. You've got to know your customer. And knowing your customer and making the right decisions comes from data. You need to make data-driven decisions in your business. And I hope that that gives um, a lot of insight as to why technology is such an important driver going forward in the building and advancement of businesses.